Okay, so, Sokotoa. We're gonna solve for an angle this time. Uh, how we solve for an angle is very similar to how we solve for a side, um, or actually how we set up for a side. It's a little bit different how we solve it. The setup is exactly the same though. So take this new triangle that I've got, get my pencil going here, and we are going to label it. So once again, I'm going from this angle. Now I don't know what it is. So in the previous videos, this might have said 54, or this might have said 60 or whatever it is, but I don't know what it is this time. But this is still the angle. The angle is the unknown this time. So from this angle, where is your opposite? Well, it's right over here. So I label my triangle just like usual. There's O, there's H, that leaves this side to be A, the adjacent side. And then I cancel that one, don't have an H, I have an A and an O. Check out the Sokotoa, OH, nope, OA, AH, nope, OA, there's my ticket. So I have to use tan. Okay, so I start this thing off again, just like with solving sides, you label and you sub in. So tan of theta is equal to, well, O over A, that's what that equation tells us. So O is 12, A is eight, so that's what I start out with. Now, from here, I have to solve theta. In order to solve theta, you have to remember that whenever you solve for an angle, you have to use the inverse. Now, what does the inverse mean? Well, this is what inverse means. It means that theta is equal to the tan inverse of 12 over 8. So, tan inverse, cos inverse, sine inverse, they're all there. You have to check your calculator and over top of your sine, cos, and tan buttons, it should say, well, it'll have this. It'll have sine to the negative 1. And then over top your cos button, it says cos to the negative one. And over top your tan button, it says tan to the negative one. Now, how do you get to those buttons? Well, you hit second or shift, depending on what your calculator calls that. But you use these things. And these things are called the inverses. And we remember a rule here that I just remember as inverse for the angle. So whenever you solve for the angle, you have to use your inverse buttons. Okay, now make sure that you can punch this in. Again, depending on your calculator, it might punch in a different order. Um, use second tan of bracket 12 over 8. If you want to punch this in using your fraction button, you can. Or some calculators, you're going to have to do 12 divided by 8 and then hit second tan. That's what I'm going to have to do with this calculator here, the computer calculator. I do 12 divided by 8 and then hit equals and then hit second tan. Or in the calculator on the computer, it's inverse tan. Uh, and then that gives me my answer. Now that gives me my answer of theta equals 56.3 degrees, because hopefully your calculator was in degree mode or you just figured it out in radians. You don't know what those are yet. You'll learn that in grade 11. There's an angle. All right, so what did I do? Well, I started it out exactly like we usually do. That's why I went through the videos in this order. You label it with O, H, and A. You pick which one you're gonna use. I'm gonna use tan. I sub my values in here. I didn't know the angle, so it just stays as theta. And then in order to solve for an angle, you use the inverse. So take whatever this was, do the inverse of it. Bam, there's my angle. Now you know how to solve angles. So uh, go to practice this stuff. Practice this stuff, practice solving for sides, and then you will be a master of this.